Hi everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I usually filter or find jobs on Upwork. So I'm showing you currently my screen right now. And again, this is a video assuming na mayroon ka ng Upwork account, okay? So what I usually do is, uh, by the way, I'm a, currently a virtual assistant. Um, and today, uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ako mag-filter at paano ako, paano ako maghanap ng mga clients for virtual assistant or personal assistant um, jobs or gigs, okay? So let's start. So if you see my screen, guys, nandito ako sa parang dashboard ng Upwork. So ang gagawin mo lang is, dito ka lang sa search bar, i-utilize mo tong search bar, and then i-type mo lang kung anong role yung gusto mong uh, gusto mong um, uh, maghanap ng work or freelance gig. So for me, I'm a virtual assistant. So itatype ko lang yung virtual assistant. May magpapopulate yan. And then, wait mo lang mag-load. Kasi it will take you to a different page. Where you can manipulate and edit yung filters ng mismong um, search bar. Ayan. So, eto na yung tinipe natin kanina na virtual assistant. assistant. And then, uh, may mga recent searches din ako. So, ayan. And then, let's focus on the left side of the screen, guys, where you can filter a lot of stuff. So, you can filter it by category. So, if you click on the search bar, may mga boxes dyan na pwede mong i-check. But, let's just focus on um, my... Um, role, which is admin support or virtual assistant. So, i-click ko lang yan. And then, yung virtual assistants. So, if you notice, pag may, um, pag, pag you select uh, a particular filter, it will appear here sa advanced search. So, that's a pretty cool thing. Next is experience level. So, if gusto mo ng mga entry level VA jobs, pwede, intermediate, or expert. I usually just I don't know. I just wanted the intermediate. Uh, pwede din namang expert, but that's just how I do it. But if you are confident that you have the expert skills, then go ahead for it. But in my case, I haven't been in the industry for too long, so hindi ako masyadong nag uh, ng box na to. Anyway, if you want hourly, pwede mong itik ang box na to. Or if gusto mo ng fixed price, meaning per project na rate, Pwede din. But in my case, I'm looking for an hourly rate. Next is the number of proposals. Ito yung pinaka-importante at pinaka-highlight siguro ng uh, reason na why I'm using the filter. It's because you can filter the number of proposals that you see on a specific um, job posting. So, mas maganda if you select at least less than 5. Meaning to say, less than 5 pa lang yung nagpasa ng proposal nila. At wala pa masyadong nag-submit ng application. So, yan yung mga goal ko talaga na I, as soon as I see a less than 5, tas early, like, very fresh pa siyang posted, I usually send my applications right away para nasa top ako ng application list niya ng mga aplikante na nagpasa ng application, if that makes sense. Next is client info. Um, previous clients or payment verified. Uh, I click payment verified, meaning to say, pag payment verified na, uh, they have already hired probably uh, multiple freelancers in the past, and um, their credit card and payment information has already been saved. And then, ayan, if my preferred kang location or time zone, go ahead and do that. Or if gusto mo lang ng, you know, short time na um, gig, pwede din. Um, in my case, because I'm hourly, I select less than 30 hours per week pag part-time. Pero kung gusto mo ng full-time na 40 hours, you select more than 30 hours per week. So in this case, let's just try yung less than 30 hours per week. And then, pwede ding um, filter, i-filter mo yung connects needed, pwede two or less, four connects, six, etc. But I don't touch it. I just leave it at that. Ayan, so here are the filters pala guys na we selected here. It will appear here sa top. And if you notice, there are 179 jobs. 
make sure na nakasort to to the newest. And if you noticed, my jobs na posted 12 minutes ago for a virtual assistant role, hourly is 3 to $5 intermediate in less than one month, less than 30 hours per week. So these are really part-time roles. And then if you notice, ito yung pinaka-importante, yung proposals na less than five lang yung submission and then payment verified. And then maganda din yung rating ng client na to. So you, it is safe to apply and send your application sa client na to. Um, so the earliest or the, the, you know, the, the fresher the post is, um, mas maganda. And the lower the proposals, the lower the number of proposals, the better. Kasi, meaning to say, mas less yung competition mo towards other freelancers. But take note na, because there are, you know, the competition is very stiff and um, VA niche is already saturated, meaning marami na talagang nag-VA this time. Medyo mahirap ang pag a -apply. Pero ayun nga, that's why it is so important for you to utilize these types of filters and also the timing of the day as well. So if bet mo ng mga day shift, mga gatong oras ka na mga, let's say, morning, mga 8 a.m., siguro 9 a.m. ka maghanap ng, or magpasa ng application. Kasi usually mga day shift yan, like uh, Australia, if gusto man ng day shift, uh, or yeah, Australia. Um, and then, pag US naman, pwede din, um, pwede kang sa graveyard. And I usually submit applications around 12 a.m. to at least 4 a.m. Yan yung window ko. Kasi minsan kasi, pag late mo nang nakita yung posting or late mo nang nasubmit yung application mo, tas ang dami ng, like 50 plus na yung nagsubmit ng proposals, medyo mahirap nang mapansin yung proposal mo, not unless kung top rated ka or top freelancer. Top rated plus or top rated na freelancer. At pwede mong i-boost yung connects mo. We'll talk about it on a different um, topic, but that's about it for now. Um, I hope this uh, technique helps you in order to at least um, not waste your connects. Kasi medyo, ano si Upwork sa connects eh? <laughs> Pag naubos mo na yung connects mo sa Upwork, medyo matagal din ang pag-refill. Minsan naman, nag-re-refund naman sila ng connects mo. But, you know, we wanted to make sure na whatever connects that we have, we spend it or we use it on applications very wisely. And, yeah, ganun. So, if you have any questions, guys, on how to use filter or um, maybe how to start uh, finding jobs on Upwork or maybe land... Um, a freelancing gig just let me know what kind of topics or questions you might want to have um, but also if you want to become a freelance um, freelance virtual admin assistant or kahit ano pa yung freelance na uh, gig pa yan or work from home um, wag tayong parating mag-ask ng how um, galaw-galaw din so research research din pag may time tanong-tanong din pag may time basa-basa uh, din tayo ng mga tips and Nood, nood din tayo ng mga tutorials. But anyway, guys, I'm here. Um, just let me know if you have any topics in particular na gusto nyong matutunan. Um, I've been a VA for almost um, three years now. So, hindi ako masyadong well-versed, pero I know the basics. So, I hope everyone's able to get some ideas of how to figure out and how to use um, Upwork in order to find the jobs that would match your skills and how your proposals can be noticed by your clients or soon to be clients anyway that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i vlog uh, about travels and also i'm a freelance um, va on upwork so i hope to see you on my next video bye for now